Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Grip and Rip Sports Cards, back here with another video for you guys today. And in this video, we're going to be talking about some potential bad news regarding 2023 Bowman Draft. That is right, guys. Bowman Draft. We have some potential bad news as, well, if you're an only tops guy and only collect tops cards... There might be some players on this list that you might not be too happy about potentially not being in draft. And what I mean by that, I'm talking about autographs. So we'll talk about that in this video. Uh, but before we get to that, thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. Can we get a minimum of 100 likes on today's video? Is that the best way you can help me grow this channel is by hitting that like button. And speaking of growing the channel, we are doing a giveaway. We are giving away hobby packs of Series 2. All you got to do to enter is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications for all the content on this channel, and last but certainly not least, leave a comment on who your all-star representatives are on your favorite team. I'll pick the winner once we hit 7,000 subscribers, so there is that. <coughs> and of course, channel of the month, so shout out to Sports Card Ripping Teacher. He is the channel of the month for the month of September. Go to my links in my description, and he is in the top link labeled Channel of the Month. Go subscribe to him. If you want to be Channel of the Month for October, if you're a sports card YouTuber, all you got to do is, if you're a sports card YouTuber, just let me know what kind of sports card videos you make. That's all you got to do. It's simple as that. I go watch everyone's submissions, and I'll come to a conclusion October 1st who the winner is for the month of October. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. It's the best way I could help you guys try to grow your channels and, you know, do this for a living. You know, this is what I do for a job for now. Now, when I graduate college and things like that, now that'll be a different story, but I'll still make videos, of course. You know, I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, the, the videos aren't going anywhere. This is going to be a, a daily thing on, on the channel. So there's that. And, um, of course, want to apologize again. My voice sounds weird probably to some of you. I'm still sick. I, I just don't know what's going on. It's been two, two, almost two and a half weeks at this point, and uh, I don't know. I, I, I truly don't know, but uh, hopefully we get better sooner rather than later because I just hate coughing. So I'm going to cough quite a bit probably in this video because my throat's uh, pretty dry. So let's get into it. Of course, I'm uh, making this video actually pretty earlier than usual. I'm making this video, although you guys can't tell. I, it could be 5 o'clock in the morning I'm making this video. You guys would never be able to tell. Uh, but I'm waiting for the Pirates and the Cubs to start. Uh, I'm rain delay right now. We have about 25 minutes or, minutes or so uh, before the game starts. So I was like, hey, you know, what? screw it. Why not? Let's make the video now. So I ain't got to do it when the game uh, ends uh, because it'll be a while. Cause literally, literally got delayed for an hour and a half. So let's talk Bowman Draft. Bowman Draft. Now, for clarity, we don't know when Bowman Draft is coming out yet. You know, Bowman Draft, of course, is a staple an off-season staple. Uh, typically, November around Thanksgiving is when it typically does come out. Uh, last year, it came out the week of Christmas, I remember, because we uh, went to get Bowman Draft. My brother pulled an Elijah Green like out of 199, I believe. It was a purple, uh, which was insane. Probably the best reaction, uh, best card pull we have ever pulled, uh, you know, when I was witnessing him open the packs. Um, but... We have some potential bad news in this video regarding draft. Now, if you like Panini cards, this really won't affect you. But what we're going to be talking about today is huge star players signing licenses and agreements with Panini. Now, I will say this as well. We do not know if they're exclusive yet. We do not know. I probably jumped the gun on this video making it so early, but I just want to put it out there in the universe in case you did miss this, because if you expect, like, for example, a Dylan Cruz autograph, although that's not the best example because he will not actually be until Bowman next year. Um, you know, of course, if you guys are well aware, every second overall pick every year, no matter what team it's for, the second overall pick always is in the next year's Bowman product. So he's not going to be in draft. But for example, we'll talk about, we have a list of players. He is one of them who has signed a deal with Panini for um, autographs. Now, like I said, this is not confirmed if it is an exclusive license. But I just want to put it out there in the universe to talk about it 
because do not be surprised come next year, like April 2024, when Bowman does eventually drop, that you don't see Dylan Cruz autographs in the product because he is exclusive, potentially. He has signed a deal with Panini. And not only is it him, it is um, Eldridge, it is Wilson, uh, Jacob Wilson, it is another guy, and then the last one, which is terrible news for me, Paul Skeens. Paul Skeens, the number one overall pick for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, probably going to be up next year. Uh, he might be an update. Hopefully, fingers crossed, he will be an update next year uh, if he gets caught up in time. Um, but, yeah, so they have signed a lot of major first-round talent. I forget the last guy's name because he is, I believe... A foreigner of some sort. I'm not. I forget how to pronounce his name. Um, but Jacob Wilson is 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 the son of Jack Wilson, who was a pirate, first overall pick for the Pirates way back in the '90s. Paul Skeens, of course, is the first overall pick this year, and then Dylan Cruz is the second overall pick. So there's going to be a lot of fanfare regarding these guys. Of course, Jacob Wilson and Paul Skeens will both be in draft. Uh, Jacob Wilson, I believe, was drafted by the Oakland A's. You can correct me if I'm wrong on that. But I'm pretty sure the Oakland A's uh, picked him up in the draft this year. Um, and of course, you know, Paul Skeens, Pirates, uh, Eldridge, I don't know. Uh, I forget what team he got picked up by. Uh, but all these first-round talents, all these first-round talents have signed deals with Panini. And like I said, I don't want to put it out there that they're exclusive because we don't know. The article that Panini released, because Panini released a, a press statement of sorts, and they did not specify whether they were exclusive or not. I'm hoping they were not exclusive because if they were exclusive, I think they would have probably mentioned that in the article. Um, but needless to say, you know, let's talk about why this is happening. You know, let's put the tinfoil cap on for just a second here and maybe throw out a conspiracy theory or two. How about this? Let's think about this theory for a second. Did they sign these players to get them away from Tops, knowing what is going on right now with Panini and Tops? Of course, if you guys are well aware, well, well, well aware, Panini and Tops are suing each other over basically monopolization and then Panini like interfering with Tops negotiations with the NFL PA and the NBA PA because those two um, players associations want to jump ship. It's not that Topps is trying to yank them. It's that the NFL and the NBA, they want to go to top. So it's a convoluted mess. We've highlighted it plays of times here on the channel last couple months. Um, there's still no new news regarding that. It's kind of hit a, a standstill, if that's what you want to call it, regarding the news of that. Um, but needless to say, let's throw the conspiracy theory out there for a second. Did they sign these guys the deals? And let's say hypothetically they're exclusive, which again, we don't know. But let's say they are. Did they do that to gut punch tops? Like a, like a, a, a punch in the gut to tops? Say, ha ha ha, we just signed your draft picks that you're going to want to get autos for. Ha ha ha, they can only get in Panini autos now. Is that possible? If that is possible, you know, let's 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 throw this out there as well. You know, of course, if you guys are well aware as well, Panini lost the active MLBPA license. The only players that can be in in Panini products are farm system players like a Paul Skeens for now, like a Dylan Cruz for now, although I am firmly a believer of those two guys playing in the major leagues next year because they're both freaking great. You know, no matter if the Pirates picked Dylan Cruz or the Nationals picked Paul Skeens, they're most likely both going to be in the major leagues next year. They're already both in double A. And I can almost guarantee you they're going to fast track each of them. Well, the Pirates I know for a fact will because the Pirates are in a much better place to contend next year um, because all of our great prospects in the farm system are up. You know, Andy Rodriguez, Henry Davis, um, Nick Gonzalez was up at a point. Uh, Jared Triolo, 
Um, Paul Skeens will be joining him next year. So the Pirates are in a much better place to contend. I would know that, obviously, just based off of the background of this video. I'm a Pirates fan. Um, but I guarantee it next year will be the only year that they are going to be on Panini cards. So did they do this? Did they do this? 2-1, gut punch tops for what they're doing with the NFL and NBA. And 2, take them out of Bowman products because... Most likely, like I just said, most likely, Paul Skeens... Now, Paul Skeens will probably have a second Bowman card just because they'll put him in next year's Bowman, probably. But let's say for Dylan Cruz, for example, who's only probably going to get one Bowman card as a prospect, he'll most likely only get the first prospect in done, right? Could they be doing that because Panini knows how fast-tracked these guys are going to be? Now, let's talk about the other guys, like Eldridge and, and Jacob Wilson. Now, those guys probably aren't going to get fast-tracked, um, but, you know, you never know. You truly never know. Oakland is not in any sense of the word trying to compete. Honestly, if you want my honest opinion, until they get to Las Vegas. Of course, if you guys are well aware... Uh, they are moving to Las Vegas. The vote for that is is this November, I believe, to officially confirm it. Uh, but it's all but confirmed at this point. So, you know, I don't think those guys are going to contend. But let's throw out Skeens and and Dylan Cruz. Those two guys, depending on the national situation, because I'm not a Nationals fan. If you're a Nationals fan, comment in the comment section how how you're farm and your contention window shaping up to be because I truly don't know but I can speak for the Pirates I can speak on that you know we've improved uh as of right now eight games compared to last year we're at 70 wins right now um but you know we're in a much better place to contend over those guys so could Panini have done that because of that because they said to themselves well the realistic idea of of those two guys being in the farm system for not long is a very real possibility you know like I said with Dylan Cruz there's a good chance he gets called up May or June of next year. Very, very real possibility. Maybe even sooner. Maybe even on opening day. I doubt it. Um, they're going to want him to pitch in AAA, I have to imagine, first. Uh, but there's a very real chance that he gets called up May or June of next year. And Panini said to themselves, well, if we're all going to be able to use his card and his likeness for like a year, let's try to sign him to a deal so that way... He can't have autos in, in Bowman products. At the same time, he gets the autos for us. That's a very real possibility. That is a very, very real possibility. And as a, a, a tops guy, and you know, I I have stated plenty of times how much excited I am. I am very, very, very excited for draft. I think draft this year, uh, before this news dropped, of course is going to be one of the sets of the year. Now, of course, like I said, Dylan Cruz is not going to be in it. But that really don't affect me because, of course, I'm not a Nationals fan. I actually have a Dylan Cruz autograph. I picked it up uh, before the draft, believe it or not, for like $40. Um, they skyrocketed like right before the draft. So I, I picked up that Dylan Cruz auto because I genuinely thought the Pirates were taking him for the longest time. And then Paul Skeens kind of came out of the woodworks um, out of nowhere, essentially, and basically proclaimed himself his number one. Um... Because I watched a lot of LSU games. I was well aware of who the Pirates were potentially taking. And the fact that they were on the same team, because, of course, if you guys are familiar, they both played on LSU. So uh, I watched a lot of LSU games. And, you know, fortunately, ESPN um, ESPN aired on their, on their app, like, every LSU game all season long. They literally brought the cameras every single place they went, no matter if it was a ranked college or or a, a shitty tiered college that no one even heard of that they played, because they played a couple of those teams. They brought the cameras everywhere. So I was fortunate to watch every LSU game, because they played at like 1 p.m. most uh, most times in like in like February and March, and of course all the way through the summer when they won the championship uh, this summer um, in Omaha. But you have to wrap this video up, because I want to make this video short, because the Pirates are just about to start here in about maybe like five to ten minutes. Um, if... Paul Skeens is not autos in in draft. That's a that's a big blow. You know that is definitely like same with like Eldridge, Jacob Wilson, and Dylan Cruz. But Dylan Cruz won't be that big of a deal because he's not in tops 
uh, Bowman draft this year anyways. But if these guys are exclusive to Panini, that, that's a big blow for Tops. That is a huge blow for Tops because people like me, who I'm going to PC Paul Skeens, and I was I forgot to say this earlier in the video, but I have been saving up money for a Paul Skeens auto. I was going to drop like 250 or whatever much it was on a Paul Skeens auto when they did come out in Bowman Draft because, of course, that's my guy. He's our future ace, no doubt about it. He will be the number one guy in the rotation for the Pirates. And I was like, well, let me put some money aside little by little each month until draft, and I'll pick up an autograph uh, somewhere down the line. Not immediately when draft came out, because that's the bad thing to do. You never want to buy an autograph of any prospect, like Elijah Green or whoever, Jackson Holiday or whoever. Uh, you do not want to buy an autograph of those guys as soon as the product drops, because it's the, it's the most expensive it's going to be. But I was like saying to myself, well, I'll wait till about January or February. And then when the price is right, I will I will get a, a Skeens autograph. But if he's in Panini, I mean, that, you know, with no logos and everything like that, like, that's that's a big deal. That is definitely a big deal. And hopefully a lot of people, you know, realize that. Let's say hypothetically, and then like, I, I, I want to preface this. You know, I've, I've said this the whole video. We do not know if they're exclusive yet. We do not know it because they did not specify in the article whether or not it was exclusive or not. So we'll just have to wait and see. But to wrap this video up, if they are exclusive, that is a huge blow for Tops. The first and second overall, and Jacob Wilson, I believe, was like the fifth or sixth, though he was not too far behind either. Eldridge, I'm not familiar with him because I didn't keep an eye on him. The only reason I kept an eye on Jacob Wilson is because he is a a son of a former Pirates first rounder himself. So that's why I kept an eye on it. Um, but that's a huge blow. You know, if they are exclusive to Panini, that is an absolutely huge, huge blow for Tops. Uh, because of course you know that they, they want to have Skeens and Cruz and you know Eldridge and, and Wilson autos in their product. Now hopefully they're not exclusive. Hopefully it's not the case. But just want to let you guys know the news that came out today. It's the most recent baseball news. I might as well as like figured there's nothing else to talk about because we're still a couple days away from Alan Ginter, which yes, I will cover Alan Ginter uh, against my better judgment. I'm not a fan of Alan Ginter. You guys are well aware of that. Um, but you know, it's a new set regardless. And I knocked the camera over just a tad. So that's pretty much it for this video. Let's get to this pack of uh, Heritage. I have like literally like 20 packs of these left. We're literally just sitting here. Um, I was like, you know what? Let's just open these. We ran out of gallery. So I was like, you know what? Let's do it, man. Let's do it. So we have Johnny Cueto. We have Jake Berger, Rendon, uh, Ashcraft, Tim Anderson, JT, uh, then and now, uh, Gaylord Perry and Justin Verlin. That's, pr that's pretty cool. Um, Nick Pavetta. And Nolan Gorman. Easily, Nolan Gorman is the best card of the pack. Easily. So, guys, let me know what you think about this news. Are you concerned about it? Are you going to buy autos of them if they're not in tops? Or, or what are you going to do? I'll let you know my thoughts and opinions. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.